Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best NVIDIA control panel settings for PAL world. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to completely set up your NVIDIA control panel and what are the best settings on your windows to improve your FPS and get better performance. So make sure to watch it till the end. And without wasting any more time, let's get started. All right, step number one is updating your NVIDIA graphic card drivers. Now, for that, you can go down to the link in the description below in which I have left the download link for NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And over here, you will get the latest version of GeForce Experience. Once you've downloaded that, you can simply search for GeForce Experience on your PC and it will open up. Now, over here, you will find all of your games installed on your PC. Now, what you have to do is go over to the drivers section and in here, you have to click on these three dots and select game ready drivers. Then click on check for updates and make sure that you always download and install the latest version for your GPU drivers. This is super, super important and I highly recommend you guys not to skip it. Next step is fixing all of your network issues using Gear Booster. Gear Booster helps you to tunnel your internet connection straight up from your PC to the game servers, which help you to fix your lag and ping issues. You can simply download Gear Booster from the link in the description below. And the application looks like this. Now, once again, they have recently added PAL World to their list, so you guys can simply look up for pal world over here and you can find it on the list over here and not just pal world but you can pick from over 100 games in this application you can simply one click boost your game and as you guys can see it will automatically connect you to the nearest server gear booster will automatically decide which server is closest to you by the auto server feature and it will help you to show the estimated ping that you're going to get in the game and the amount of improvement that you are going to get in the game i personally think that gear booster is a really helpful software since it helps me to fix my input latency and ping issues in not just pal world but all of the games the best part about this is over here you can go to the configure section then you have to go to optimization settings and simply enable all of these options over here and it will help you to fix your network issues on the go so guys go check out gear up booster links are in the description below i hope it helps you to fix all of your network issues and help you to play with your friend now let's move ahead with the video now, second step is the best NVIDIA control panel settings. And for that, you have to download the NVIDIA control panel first. So for that, you can go over to your Microsoft store. And over here, you can simply search for NVIDIA control panel and install the control panel utility on your PC. All right, now once it opens up, you have to go to adjust image settings with preview. And right over here, you have to click on use the advanced 3D image settings. Then simply click on take me there. Now over here, I have already told you guys to set the global settings as follows in my other videos. However, I'm going to be updating a new NVIDIA Media control panel video for 2024 global settings in the upcoming videos but over here you have to click on program settings and then simply click on add right over here now over here you have to click on the browse button and go to the install location of your game so for me it will be in the common folder right over here is pal world you have to add the pal world.exe click open and then you will have pal world added to your programs list now, first thing is the image scaling. I personally do not use it, but if you guys want, you can always click on on and set the sharpness to 65% or you can also go up to 85%. So sharpen 85% would be somewhere really good for your PC, but I personally recommend you guys to turn this thing off. Next is anisotropic filtering. And for this, you have to go with application controlled. For anti-aliasing FXAA, you have to turn this thing off. Gamma correction, you have to turn this thing on. Anti-aliasing mode, you have to click on application controlled. Anti-aliasing transparency, you have to keep this thing to off. Then you have background application max frame rate. You have to click on on and then select 20 FPS over here. Click on OK. Then CUDA GPU, you have to click on use this GPU and then simply click on OK. Then you have CUDA SysMem fallback policy. You have to set this thing to prefer SysMem fallback. Then you have low latency mode. You have to set this thing to ultra. You have max frame rate. You have to set this thing to on and set this thing to the maximum value possible. For monitor technology, if you guys have a G-Sync compatible monitor, you can click on it. Otherwise, you can simply click on global settings and leave it as it is. Then you have multi-sample MFAA. And for this, you have to set this thing to off. OpenGL GDI compatibility. Set this thing to prefer performance. Then you have OpenGL rendering GPU, select your GPU over here. Then power management mode, select maximum performance. 
Then you have the preferred refresh rate, set this thing to highest available. Next is texture filtering and isotropic sampling, turn this thing to off, negative LOD bias, simply click on allow. Then you have texture filtering quality, set this thing to high performance. Then you have texture filtering trilinear optimization, simply turn this thing on. Threaded optimization, turn this thing on. Triple buffering, set this thing to off. V-Sync, turn this thing to off. And then for the Vulkan OpenGL presenting method, simply click on auto. Once it is done, you are done with the best program settings for Palworld. Now you have to click on apply changes and simply select yes. Now. Go down to configure surround and physics, right over here select your processor to your GPU. Then come to change resolution and make sure that you're always playing on a PC resolution because that allows you to improve your refresh rate. If you set this thing to monitor, this will be set to 60Hz but for PC it goes up to 240Hz or the maximum Hz for your monitor then for the third one that is apply the following settings simply select use nvidia color settings and for desktop color depth select highest output color depth set 10 bpc if that is available for you then your output color format should be rgb and the output dynamic range should be full a lot of you guys might have already default set this thing to limited Next is the adjust desktop color settings and over here the only thing that I recommend you guys to do is set your digital vibrance to somewhere between 70, 65 to 70 percent because that will give you much better colors. Next is the adjust video image settings and right over here you guys can see edge enhancement, use nvidia setting and noise reduction use nvidia setting. And I highly recommend you guys to set this thing to 15%. However, if your GPU is really, really low end, you can set this thing to the video player setting just like I do it. Then you have deinterlacing, simply use inverse telesign and then RTX video enhancement. Click on super resolution over here and set the quality to auto and then select high dynamic range and simply after that simply click on apply. So that were the best NVIDIA control panel settings for your game. Now let's move on to create a restore point and for that you can simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Then you have to scroll down and select your local disk C simply click on create and name it pal world so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving the system integrity. Next step is the pal world NVIDIA optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This is specifically designed for NVIDIA graphic card to be optimized for running pal world. So first thing over here is the registries and in here you'll find a ton of registries that disable DVRs, disable GPU energy driver, power throttling, unnecessary services and power efficiency. You have to run all of them in order to achieve most FPS as you can and after that you have to go to PC optimization then you have to apply the exclusive full screen and then you have to comment your GPU specifications down in the comment section below and I'll be telling you guys if you have to use the low end GPU optimization or the med high GPU optimization. I have an RTX 2070 super so I have to use the med high optimization. It could be different for you. Next is the MSI utility v3 which is super important simply run this as administrator. Now this application interface looks super simple. Over here you have to look up for your GPU simply select the MSI button right over here and from undefined set this thing to high. You also have to find your ethernet controller and set this thing to high as well with the tick mark on the MSI check mark and this will improve your GPU and your ethernet. Simply click on apply and close this thing. Coming back to the FPS, last thing is the power plan in which I have left ultimate performance power plans. So once you open it up, you can simply copy the string over here and then open up your CMD and run this thing as administrator. Now over here, you have to control V to paste this thing and simply press enter. I have already done it. So I have to open up control panel now and then over here, you have to look up for power options. Once you are over here, you will find a lot of power plans installed on your PC. Now. You have to select ultimate performance which will be under the hidden additional plans. So you can simply open this thing up and select the ultimate performance. This will be optimizing your PC scores and your overall performance for gaming. It will utilize all of your PC's components on the maximum throttle. Once again, I have already made a guide on the best Palworld in game settings. So for that, you can check out my other video on Palworld's best setting, best in game settings. We will see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.